sometimes we don't need to make a physical change we just need to make a mindset shift and a mindset change and today i'm going to walk you through five simple mindset shifts that we can make today to significantly improve our lives. Mindset shift number one is your perspective. What is your perspective on life? And what is your perspective around everything that's actually currently happening to you? The story that we tell ourselves makes such a big difference to our overall well-being and happiness. We could be going through something absolutely terrible, absolutely awful, but if we choose to reframe that thought and we choose to change the perspective, we can feel a lot happier. No matter what is going on in our lives, we can always choose which perspective we can see that lens from. If we choose to see bad things happening to us from a positive lens, it'll make our lives so much better. And you might be thinking, yeah, that's easier said than done. I was completely bed bound for five years. I had to learn how to do this because I couldn't do anything. <laughs> and the only thing I had was my perspective. And I thought to myself, yes, this sucks right now. And I can't even stand up. I can't even sit down and I can't go anywhere besides lay down in bed. So I need to change my story and I need to change my perspective of what's happened to me. So I chose to see that as I'd been given the gift of time. No other time in my life was I ever going to spend all these years just doing nothing. So I might as well make the most of these years. And so I studied and learned so much about personal development and happiness and the mindset, growth mindset, neuroplasticity, and I learned so much that actually changed my life completely. So just by switching that perspective of, oh God, I'm stuck in bed in so much pain, I chose to flip that on its head and see it as a good thing, even though it wasn't a good thing, but you know, you have to choose to find the silver lining in everything that's happening to you and it really does make a huge difference. Second mindset shift is positive self-talk. Talk to yourself as if you were somebody that you really really love. So who do you love most in the world? That could be a parent, it could be a child, be your best friend, it could be anybody. Talk to yourself as if you were them. Once you practice positive self-talk more and more and more, it becomes more natural because you rewire your brain to think in a more positive way and to think about yourself in a more positive way. And then you're just gonna feel more happy and more confident and you're gonna start accepting yourself and loving yourself. And again, it makes a huge difference. Third mindset shift that we can make is switching negative thoughts to positive thoughts. This can be difficult at first if you've never done it before but the more you practice and the more you do it the easier it will get and as someone who used to have a lot of negative thoughts and I do have them I can immediately switch them and it just makes me feel so much happier because when your brain is negative you just live a more negative life when you notice yourself having a negative thought immediately catch yourself if you don't notice it you can't do anything about it so once it's on your radar and you've then clocked that you've had this negative thought immediately catch yourself stop the thought and switch it to the opposite so a more positive thought about that thing if you can't think of anything positive to say or if you can't think of anything positive that's the opposite of the negative thought you can replace it with something that you are grateful for in your life. So have a few things in the back of your mind that you are ready to replace that thought with because we can only have one thought at a time. If you replace that negative thought with a positive thought or something you are grateful for, you're gonna feel so much better. So have a few backup gratitude thoughts that you can just pull out whenever you need them. So it could be the roof over your head, it could be your family, it could be your career, it could be you've got a healthy body, you're able-bodied, 
whatever that thing is, maybe two to three thoughts that you can rely on, that you can replace with any negative thoughts that might crop up. Fourth mindset shift that we can do is to think about what are we focusing on in any given moment. So if you focus on the negative, you're going, you're going to feel negative. But if you're focusing on the positive, you're gonna feel happy and positive. And this is one thing that really helped me when I was really, really depressed. Antidepressants never worked. But choosing what I focused on instead really made such a huge difference. And again, this all comes with time and practice to rewire your brain moment it's more natural for you to focus on the negatives because we have a negativity bias within us but if you start to slowly change that negativity bias to a more positive one and the more you do it the more your brain will just start to naturally think more positively what are you focusing on right now are you depressed and so are you focusing on everything that's going wrong in your life instead of focusing on all the things that are going wrong focus on all the things that could go right in your life, that are going right in your life, the things that you are grateful for. The more you catch yourself focusing on the negatives, switch that again and focus on the positive things instead. And again, you will start to see a difference. Give it a couple of weeks and I promise you, this, all this will make such a huge difference to your life and your mental health because it completely changed my mental health. I suffered from depression for over 20 years and I've been on almost every medication for it, every, almost every antidepressant and none of them worked. And I haven't been on any antidepressants for years now after learning all this mindset stuff. A handful of times now I've caught myself almost slipping back down. And you know when you get in that cycle because you can feel it you can feel that depression start to wash over you and you feel yourself, uh-oh, I'm spiraling back down into depression. And every single time I've caught myself and I've done all these practices and I've stopped it and then I've built myself back up. And so this has worked for me and I'm not saying it is gonna work for you, but it's worth a try. And the fifth mindset practice is reframing your thoughts. So if you are anxious or scared of something or fearful, reframing that into something that is positive, something that is exciting, something that brings you joy. So any thought that you might have, we never, none of us know what's gonna happen in the future. None of us can predict what's going to happen. If you have the choice to tell yourself a story of this thing that's happening to me is really sad and really negative, that's how you're gonna feel. But if you reframe that thought and think, oh, what's happening to me is really bad, but it could be the best thing that's ever happened to me and I'm just not aware of the results yet. Just give it time and the positives will reveal itself. You can also reframe current thoughts too. Like I did when I was stuck in bed, I was completely depressed, I was in so much pain. I thought, I could either dwell on this negative situation and dwell on the amount of pain I was in and suffering and the fact that I might never ever get better or I could reframe my thoughts and think I need to use this time wisely because I'm determined to get better and I didn't know if I ever would but if I thought that I wouldn't then it was never going to happen. So I reframed my thoughts on what was happening to me and I focused on everything I was grateful for. So I was grateful for my family. I was grateful for my daughter. I was grateful for having a roof over my head, having clean drinking water, having a very comfortable bed to sleep in, having food to eat every day and medicine, painkillers that were helping me with this tremendous amount of pain that was it that I was in and the more I reframed my thoughts and focused on the good things that were happening to me rather than the bad things it just really helped me get through that tough time and it's completely revolutionized the way that I think about everything and it's completely changed my life for the better. I hope that you took something from it and um, 
Let me know in the comments if you do practice any of these things now and if they help you. As always, I'm sending you lots of love and I hope you have a great week. I will see you in the next one.